Hi, my name is Boom So Much, and this is a tutorial about how I use voice commands to control Rocksmith. So I have a guitar stream on Twitch. I like to use different tricks and effects on my stream. But it's hard to play guitar and press buttons to switch things up, so I started using voice commands. And a lot of my friends are most interested in how I use it to control Rocksmith itself. So this is Voice Attack, it's the software I use. You can get it free for 20 commands, uh, and it's $10 for unlimited. I'm up to 183 commands now. I have my commands sorted by categories, and today we're going to go over the Rocksmith commands. So I want to try to keep this short, but I want to show you how I use this to use voice commands to change tones, enumerate, switch paths, search for songs, start and close Rocksmith, and get the next song going in the RS playlist. So let's start with an easy one, switching tones. We'll create a new command. And the trigger word will be default tone. So it's a key press. There's a little button here for, you can make a whole sequence of things, but we're just going to make a simple key press. And the key press, I'm pressing the one button on my keyboard. OK. And then I'm going to send this command to the uh, specific target, which is Rocksmith. And if you want to be fancy, You could um, say something with text-to-speech, just to sort of confirm it. Switching to default tone. Switching to default tone. Let's open up Rocksmith and check it out. So now we're in Rocksmith, and if I say the command, it should have the same effect as pressing the number one button. Default tone. Switching to default tone. And I have my other one set as well, so I can say... Cult of personality. Look in my eyes. What do you see? Motley Crue. Long legs and burgundy lips. Sabotage. Lord, I can't stand rockin' when I'm in this place. Because I feel disgrace because you're all in my face. Obviously, you don't need to make it say anything. You could just have it press the keys and switch the tones. And you could see they're all the same. This is my setup for the tone three. This is the default tone. This is tone four. This is tone two. Let's do a trickier one next, enumerating songs. So let me show you how it works. And anytime during a stream, I just say, load songs. Loading songs for Boom so much. I'm such a happy monkey. Learn a song. And that's it. It usually works. Once in a while it'll get caught on a wrong menu. You just fix it. It's no big deal. So this is my script and voice attack to make it happen. As you can see, it's just a sequence of the same things that you would click to do it without voice attack. Escape, down, 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 down. Enter, escape, up, 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 enter. So the only thing is I had to put pauses of a tenth of a second between each step to make it work well. So switching paths is the same concept. It's just a series of keystrokes. Paul McCartney. Switching to bass path. Boom about to get groovy. George Harrison. Switching to lead path so Boom can shred that fang. John Lennon. Switching to rhythm path. You don't see that every day. And let me show you what those commands look like. I'll just put them up for a second and you can pause it because I want to make this I want to make this quick. The next trick is searching for songs. This one honestly is kind of a hit and miss, but when it doesn't work, it's pretty funny. Search for Master of Puppets. Searching for in a strip of its. There you go. So it's, it's, wor <laughs> it's worth doing. This one's a little trickier, but if you take a screenshot of this and go through the settings, you should be able to figure it out. Starting and closing Rocksmith are pretty straightforward. When you create a command under Other, Windows, run an application, and stop a process by name. And the last thing is using it for next for RS playlist. I use the macros in Streamlabs chatbot to make F6 say next in Streamlabs chatbot. So this command just hits F6 when I say next. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you on Twitch.